the guidance of god the hebrews of proverbs chapter 4 verse 12 reads when the ghost thy steps shall not be straightened and when thou runnest thou shall not stumble as thou goest step by step the way shall be opened up before thee what comfort these words bring to the perplexed and troubled souls but we would like to know the end from the beginning we would like to know what the future holds we would like to make our plans years ahead but god's way is for us to walk with him one step at a time our fallen nature demands our obeying only our five senses this is a life of faith and walk of faith perhaps some who read this are troubled by the black clouds that are gathering in the horizon perhaps you are confronted with problems that seem to have no answer you are faced with such great difficulties that you do not see how that you can possibly get through for this reason you are in depths of despair your soul is cast down and filled with heaviness you have lost the joy of your salvation hence you have lost the testimony of christ if the trouble is you have your eyes on your troubles and not on christ his promise is as the goest step by step the way shall be opened up before thee our part is to keep on moving forward one step at a time his part is to open up the way before us he has prepared everything for us meditate on ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 10 perhaps the lord has put you in this difficult situation in order to teach you to try him he wants to teach you to walk with him you wish to walk and live in your own way the lord wants to teach you to walk in his own way his way is right way it is the best way see how he taught the israelites in wilderness and yob yob 23 chapter verses 9 and 10 on the left hand where it at work but i cannot behold him he hideth himself on right hand that i cannot see him but he know the way that i take when he hath tried me i shall come forth as gold deuteronomy 29 chapter 5 and 6 verses and i have led you 40 years in wilderness your clothes are not waxen old upon you thy shoe is not waxen old upon thy foot you have not eaten bread neither have you drunk wine or strong drink that you might know that i am the lord your god see what price you pay to shout my redeemer liveth today people preach a false and easy religion of miracles and prosperity the people who rejected god's way see second thessalonians chapter 2 verses 7 to 14 for the mystery of iniquity doth already work only he who now now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way and then shall the wicked be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming even him whose coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for this cause god shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness but we are bound to give thanks always to god for you brethren beloved of god because god hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of truth where do he call you by our gospel to the obtaining of glory of our lord jesus christ When the children of Israel crossed the river Jordan the priest had to dip their feet in the brink of the river before the waters receded before them they did not stand still waiting for God to roll the waters back and they did not plunge in over their heads neither did they stand skimming and planning how they might get across by building boats or bridges they simply obeyed God and 
द थिंग्स विच ही टोल्ड देम टू डू दिस इज गॉड्स वे वाट जॉय एंड पीस वी फाइंड एज वी वॉक इन दिस वे टू फाइंड द परफेक्ट विल ऑफ गॉड रिमेंबर दीज पॉइंट्स नंबर वन फर्स्ट योर हार्ट मस्ट नॉट हैव द विल ऑफ योर ओन वंस यू कीप योर हार्ट एट दिस पॉइंट over a given matter then you are only a little way to knowledge of god's will totally depend on god number 2 do not leave the results to feelings or simple impressions or false prophecies if you if so you will come under great delusions as many christians are without surrendering their will but dictate to god what their will is and asking god to obey their will this is a powerful center for devil and emotions to work then see the will of the spirit of god in connection with the word of god and the spirit and the word must agree that is our urim and thummim if you look to the spirit alone without the word like many believers as they then you are in delusions too and become antichrist now watch carefully the providential circumstances this is walking without shoes we walk roughly with shoes on but slowly without them this will indicate god's will in connection with the word and the spirit then prayerfully ask god to reveal his will correctly and clearly after considering all these things you will be able to come to some clear decision prayerfully god hears your prayers at the end time positively john 16 23 and 24 and in the day he shall ask me nothing verily verily i say unto you whatsoever you shall ask the father in my name he will give it to you hitherto have you asked nothing in my name ask and he shall receive that your joy may be full then after a few believing prayer your mind will come to a perfect peace in my 40 years of full time dependence on god i have found this method unfailing and i am able to please god totally otherwise i will be like samson grinding the mill without his eyes in man made denominations this way will keep your eyes open without getting into spiritual blindness and putting your load on others i am very happy man since i came to trust our lord and redeemer in this way riches and prosperity are not everything in this world read 1 timothy chapter 6 9 and 10 but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition for the love of money is the root of all evil which while some coveted after they have erred from faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows and read 1 john chapter 2 15 to 17th verse love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of flesh the lust of eyes the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and the world passeth away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of god abideth forever the people of god are movement are not a dead monument the donkey of bileam had better guidance than the prophet bileam sri lahari om dat sat